October 15th, so I'm gonna do one more update. It's still nice and warm, so my, my garden is still producing. I'm gonna walk through what's here. You can see, let's see. It's the way there. The pepper finally started to churn. Actually, most of my peppers are churning now. But some are still producing. And uh, unfortunately, I had actually pecked quite a bit before I decided to take this video. So you can see I have some cucumbers, a lot of tomatoes that I already picked, and some peppers, although I haven't finished picking peppers yet. Still have tomatoes ripening here. Now these Thai chilies are, are ripening as well. They're finally getting nice color. They're not quite ready yet. They should be bright red. And you can see some shishitas are still here. And lots and lots of Thai chilies that will be much later on. There's still a few of these. Oops, I just broke one, unfortunately. Chilies, I think. Also chicken in color. Oh, and I missed one chili here. That's the purple one that decided to change color completely. So it's now turning red instead of purple. So, and then it is this kind. Chilies also turning color. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. I took one cutting from a tomato that I like from the black cherry and hopefully it will grow so I can have tomatoes through the winter. As you can see, more chilies, more on the inside. Oh yeah, lots of them. And unfortunately some are actually spoiling. That's unfortunate. But there's plenty. I can't wait until they're all ripe and I can make a garland out of it. Now there is this variety that I have no idea what they are. They're slightly different shape, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they are. I'm sure they're also spicy. It's a different plant. Maybe my sister can tell me what they are. They're a weird jagged, jagged shape. As you can see, my tomatoes are still in full production mode. There is lots of tomatoes still not ripened. My basil didn't like the cold. It's kind of dying off. But, and again, lots more tomatoes here. And more chilies inside. This is kind of a jungle. Now transitioning to this side, the remaining remnants of my pepper, of my beans, you can see I've let, left them to dry on the stem so I can have seeds for next year. They're quite nice, so I want to have seeds. So this tomato plant is pretty much done. I pulled most of the carrots out, but there's still quite a few left here. As you can see, they're still growing. Getting nice size. What I also have, you can see this little green shoots. Those are radishes. I planted radishes to replace the carrots I had here before. And the watermelon that used to be here. So in about a month, I'll have radishes. These are French radishes, so lone pink. I have some lettuces here, also growing nicely. In another month, we'll have lettuce and some more carrots. They're not quite ready yet, but they're getting there. There's lots of carrots in there. I'm gonna let them go into well well after the frost and then we'll pick them after. 
this tomato is still producing, surprisingly. It is lots and lots of smaller ones. And again, more remnants of carrots. Let's see. They're all they're not quite done, but they're getting there. So they're about the size of my finger in width and I'd like them a little bit bigger than that. And in this pot, some more remnants of carrots and some more radishes. Now this tomato is still in full production mode. For some reason it got really really fat so because the stems are ridiculously big. But also I have nice tomatoes inside. So hopefully they will have a chance to ripen before the frost hits. Otherwise I'm gonna have to pick them green and let them ripen at home. You can see how big the stalks are. I might I might cut them and let them put put them in smaller pots so they can, they can go into a second growth. These are really strong stalks. I have a few more remnants of of carrots here. These are the small stubby ones. Yeah, same thing there. My eggplants are seriously confused. They decided to bloom again, although they're not actually forming. It's too cold for them. Although one eggplant did form. So, go figure. Peppers are also confused. You can see lots of peppers. These are definitely the second wave much smaller. Well, some of them are. Some are not that small. This is very heavy, very, very nice pepper. But yeah, they, the peppers are definitely loaded. For some reason, they decided to produce second wave. And there is another eggplant back there. There are also some small poblanos hanging down there, or up there, I should say. They're really deformed and tiny, but they're there. Now, these tomatoes, uh, it's a little insane because of how many of them there still are. I mean, seriously, they have huge growth. There is a lot. I mean, take a look at this. I can provide a better contrast. And there is more on the inside. It's hard to see through all of the undergrowth. And then there's these. Tons of tomatoes still to come. My cucumber is still in full production mode, although the leaves are definitely turning. So some more le lettuces, some salads that I planted. You can see. This has become a jungle. Oh, this baby needs to be picked. It's ready. There we go. Nice large cucumber. All of the cucumbers of this plant have been really, really long. And again, lots of tomatoes on, on the inside. And there is another cucumber growing here. Squashes. Um, squashes have been disappointing. There are a couple of squashes inside, but 
they really have not been producing well. Still have a lot of greenery here. My sorrel is still producing. I still have a few carrots here. I need to really pull them out. They're past due. And more tomatoes on this side. Yeah. Look at this. But also I have this beautiful um, green piece that I decided to climb just as I had planned them to do. So they're doing exactly what I need them to do and that's climbing on the trellis and they're actually blooming. So I have the first few blooms for my piece. Hopefully in a few days or in a week I'll have nice green peas. And I'm looking forward to this. So, and they've got plenty of places to climb. You can see I'm putting them right where the beans used to be. Same time they will replenish the... So the, the beans and the tomatoes were here. They will replenish the nitrogen in the soil. And aerate a little bit. So... And I'm going to enjoy the green peas. So. so that's the rest of my garden, or what's remain, what remains of it. Yeah, I have a few plants that I had growing early in the spring and they died, except a couple of them have decided to set seeds. So now they're growing from seed and I have lots and lots of seedlings. This is the remnant of the old. The cabbages never did grow, so the soil is definitely wrong for it. You can see I put some artificial flowers. These are actually lights, so they're solar powered. I have solar battery where they recharge during the day and then at night they light up in six different colors and they, the colors change. So this is the remnant of my cucumbers. As you can see, there is one lonely cucumber that's left. The rest I picked already today. But I need to pull this out and clean it up. The cucumbers, are, this, this cucumber is done for the year. I just need to clean it up. I have this pepper. Looks like it's a red pepper that's churning. And then I have these beautiful yellow ones. Gorgeous. I'm actually going to pick them tomorrow. Overall, these peppers are just now really finishing producing, but they have not been a very good producers. And I have a few remnants of tomatoes here. This bush is almost done as well, so as soon as I pick these, I'm going to cut it up clean it all up and that will be the, the end of this year for this for this pot. It has been a really good tasty tomato. I've been really enjoying it. My orange tree is still here. I still have my one tiny orange that's slowly increasing and I'm still fighting with a lot of um, spider mites. I have no idea how to get rid of them. I've tried everything and I can't, but as you can see some of the growth is nice and strong, so hopefully it will survive. I just need it to survive through the winter and I'm going to have to find some, some shelter for it where it's still going to have sunlight but not exposed to the cold, to the frost. But still have few of my plants here. I've been actually picking some of the seeds from these petunias. This is a beautiful colored petunia and I did not want to lose it. So I've been picking seeds to collect so I can plant them for next year. As well as these black petunias. It's another gorgeous one. And I picked a few of these so I can plant them around tomatoes next year. And give you a little bit of a view on the bay. Today is an absolutely stunning day. It 
this. Absolutely gorgeous on the bay. Lovely. It's a high tide right now, so the water is all the way up. And it is so peaceful and quiet and absolutely gorgeous. And on that note, thank you for joining me and until next time.